Welcome to this life-changing message by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Alright, welcome to this amazing channel. Now, what I want you to do is to pay clear attention to what you are going to be learning now. Pastor Chris is going to bring to you a life-touching message and I want you to pay clear attention and learn. Okay, so get the pen and the book because what you're going to learn here, you have not learned it anywhere else. Okay, so get the pen and the book. So see you right there. Why do Christians die? Christians die because of the consciousness of death. Read your Bible. Why did the apostles die? Because the Bible says they had the sentence of death in themselves. Don't forget it. They carried in them the consciousness of death. Why? The apostle Paul said, we carry that consciousness we have given ourselves over to death that you may live they thought we would live until the rapture by their sacrifice they sentenced themselves to death hoping that we will catch the dream and live on I said, uh, uh, you know, I'm just talking to you, you know, but everything I'm telling you, these are all from the scriptures. I could just read to you, just read and read and read. So death is based on a consciousness. And think of this, man lived 900 years plus. It kept reducing as sin increased until God put a cap on it and said 120 years then that went on until Moses lamented seeing them dying before they could even hit 120 he said 70 or 80 and they're gone it was a lamentation it wasn't a promise it was Moses lamentation in Psalm 90. So Moses wrote that Psalm, not David. And Moses lived 120 years. Then, the Bible says it was because of sin that God put a cap on man's life, 120. But God sent Jesus to save man from sin. So if the problem of sin has been dealt with, why do you still have the cap? Yes. No. You see, are you saying we can live on? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. This is the reality. But until the church understands this and walks in the light of it and sees death as defeated, the Bible says the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, not shall be defeated. It's been defeated, but it shall be destroyed. There's a difference between the two. Death has been defeated, but it shall be destroyed. Once we have a clear understanding, remember, he came to deliver those who all their lifetime were subject to bondage because of what? The fear of death. The fear of death is what makes men to tremble and to refuse to do what they should do. Fear of death. But Jesus delivered his people from the fear of death completely. So we are no longer under the fear of death. Hallelujah. Remember, the Bible says that those who have come to Jesus, who believe in Jesus, have passed, have passed from death to life not shall pass it's not a promise he says they have passed from death to life physical death is the result of spiritual death if there is no spiritual death in you there ought not to be physical death in you jesus said the prince of this world cometh 
and have nothing in me. This one thing I received from my father. He gave me power to lay my life down. He says, no man take it from me. I lay it down of my own self. And I have power to take it up again. Remember Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, the, the word of God is so important. And um, faith can only be built by the word. If you're not studying the word of God, if you're not listening to the word, if you're not meditating on the word, your faith cannot grow. That's a, that's a reality. Your faith cannot grow. Faith only comes from God's word. And, and, and the word is food for the human spirit. If you don't build your spirit strong, your spirit will be weak. And at anything in life, you'll be thrown over. You'll be weak. Your response will be weak. But if you have the word of God in your spirit, you rise to the occasion. No matter what, you rise to the occasion. You know the greater one lives in you. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the victory. The river comes the world, even our faith. Hallelujah.